All right, so the other day when I was trying to do some work on the motorcycle out in the driveway, I accidentally pushed it off the kickstand and it broke the clutch lever here. So I was looking all around trying to find just the lever and I even ordered one for a TT250, figuring it would be the same thing and it wasn't the same thing at all. It's longer, it's not the same at all. So uh, I was looking for an aftermarket solution. A lot of people said you could use like standard Honda CB500X uh, equipment. So I found a pair on Amazon. As always, I'll have a link in the description. This is the same part. But here's what they look like. Pretty nice, pretty nice units. Uh, so this is meant to go here. These are technically called the short ones, and they are just a hair shorter than a stuck lever, which is nice. But they have this little built-in adjustment. Uh, it's not too hard, so to replace this clutch lever here, you just have to take a flathead screwdriver, a large flathead screwdriver, turn this thing out here, this screw. And obviously you have to remove your clutch lever, and if you don't know how to do that, you just line up these holes with the hole in here, and you can flip it out. This piece comes out. Let's see. The old one looks like... So if we compare these, the old and the new one, if I set these on top of each other, it's hard to see, but this little indent right here on the new one is slightly smaller than this indent here. And the only problem that causes is right in here there's a switch which is what uh, makes it so you cannot start the bike unless it is in neutral. So if it's in gear, you can't start it unless you pull the clutch. Well, that does not properly engage that switch, which means that you'll be able to start the motorcycle whenever you want. Uh, some people, it's not a big deal. Uh, to me, it's not really a big deal. Uh, but that's just something to keep in mind. So these do fit. They're a little tight. And the reason they're a little tight is because look at them this way this is thicker so I'm not sure if I have to do any grinding yet I kind of test fit this in place here you just have to go at a certain angle but it does get in there you can see it'd be something like that all right so over here on the brake side of things you've got a 10 millimeter nut and bolt that you remove even easier and this just comes right off the lever here and then this new lever goes right in here like this you'll see that this piece here makes contact with the brake switch and this part here makes contact with the master cylinder and that's this side fits over here on the clutch side I just took a grinder and just filed down this piece just a hair. The only thing I don't like is it seems like this sticks out further on this side, the clutch, than this one, even when they're adjusted to the same point. So I'm going to look at that, but this side goes on even easier to break. All right, so something I've been off for a while. I've been wanting to put a windshield on the Hawk, and you can kind of make one yourself if you want. Uh, if you look on China Riders, you see some examples of some homemade windshields. I was looking for something uh, that would fit, that would work good. Um, so I'll show you what I'm going to do, what I found, and how it works. All right, so I picked up this windshield here on Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description to this windshield where I got it. Uh, it comes with a bag of hardware, plexiglass windshield. Some instructions it's not too hard to put together if you follow the instructions basically we take this piece here put a washer on it and that goes through the front of the shield here put a washer on the back take one of these rods and you stick it so it goes down through this like that and then this 
screws onto the back of here. All right, so here's how I mounted it. Mounted the brackets here. Almost down, right before it curves and hooks under here. You can see if you look through here, how they're facing kind of up and back. And then these posts slide down in here. And because these weren't exactly spaced evenly, Obviously, I wanted this centered, so when I tighten everything down, this rod sticks through just a little bit farther than this side. You want to check your clearance, make sure it's not going to hit nothing when you're making a tight turn. So pretty good there. Yeah, here's how it looks. You can hand tighten the plastic on here. It's pretty tight. I have to see how it acts in the wind if it behaves if it's a real problem i might put a bolt through here or one on each side